Hi guys, it is 11.30 today and uh, Curly wants to jump on me and I don't want him up here. <laughs> I just uh, ate my lunch, which was leftover pizza from yesterday. Um, let's see, what else? I came on here to tell you something, but I don't know what. Last night was so nice, Pete, and I just kind of hung out, sat on the bed, watched our shows on um, CBS... We haven't watched network TV in years. We've caught some episodes of some shows. The one we like a lot is that one. Um, I can't think of what it's called with Tim Allen where, you know, he works at that um, sports place. Three Daughters. I can't remember what it's called, but we love that show because it cracks us up. Uh, and we watch other other things, but sometimes we'll catch, catch certain network shows on like the Roku or whatever. But, uh, you know, older ones, we've liked watching a lot of those. Anyway, we were watching our current shows, Scorpio and um, Hawaii Five-0, which I probably already told you. And um, we also watched the first three episodes of Kevin Can Wait, and that was pretty funny. And um, a lot of shows, the sitcoms that we've started watching, recent ones, it just content that we don't find amusing so um but this was good this was funny i just wish kevin james wasn't such a jerk in real life because <laughs> now that's kind of clouded my you know enjoyment of his show but i'll get over it i also can't um get past the fact that he's not still married to uh leah whatever her name is that played his wife before but i'll get over that too <laughs> it's not reality sherry uh, the guys, meaning David and, and uh, what's his name, Pete, are sitting over on the steps of the church. They just went somewhere, got back, and are sitting over there talking about whatever they talk about. Um, it is a gorgeous day. Beautiful, sunny. It's supposed to be in the mid-70s today and tomorrow. Um, just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. We're leaving Friday morning. Uh, we do have our reservations down there um, in Dundee. And there is also, um, you know, we would we're just thinking of parking in the church parking lot and just, you know, sleeping. But it's supposed to be in the 30s at night, so we will need heat. So we will need electricity. But, um, yeah, this campground's nice, and it's in the Passport America thing we just joined. So we get the site for half price, and we're on the lake, so... Not going to argue with that. Um, that's all that's going on. Uh, Pete treated the dogs for fleas this morning. They seem to have picked up some fleas. Um, we noticed the day before yesterday, and poor Curly is allergic to them. So if you have seen videos in past years when he's had them, he just chews himself raw, and his hair is gone. He gets bald on his back end, and uh, is just miserable. He gets so miserable, and we have to put him on the steroids and stuff. Um, we use uh, the front line spray, which is different from the front line, you know, between the shoulder blades stuff. And it's harder to find and it's expensive, but thankfully my vet carries it. Pharaoh used to have, uh, Pharaoh used to have reactions to so many things. The, uh, between the shoulders front line was one of them. So, but the spray is something different. And all the dogs that I've used it on have never had a reaction, so that's what we use. So Pete took them both out this morning and sprayed them and then kept them in the sun for a while, walked them around in the sun so that it would dry before they came in. Oh, let's see. I don't know. I'm just swinging in my chair, making you guys want to puke, right? I guess that's all that's going on. Um, I'm looking forward to the Southern Gospel Conventions. Convention? Two days of it. Two evenings, actually. It's at 6.30 on Friday and 5 o'clock on Saturday. And, of course, our guys will be there, but there's a whole bunch of other good groups. The Foresters is one I'm keeping my eye on because I think they are going to be really, really big at some point. They are getting there. Um, but I'm really keeping my eye on them because they are faithful to the gospel. They are personable, they're beautiful, they're a lovely family, they are extremely talented, they're not just like um, one talent, I mean they all do a bunch of stuff, even the little kids, 
and um, they just I I see good things happening in their future. So um, they've been around. I can't remember exactly. I did look once, but I can't remember exactly how long they've been around. But they've been around for whatever. Um, and they're good. You know, in the old days, musicians and and visual artists and whatever. I mean, the old days, hundreds of years ago, were sponsored by rich people, by people who were, uh, you know, they didn't have to beg for money. Rich people would sponsor them so and support them so that they could dedicate their lives to their art, which whatever their art was. And that's how they lived. Um, and um, sometimes I wish those days were back and I was one of those rich people so I could sponsor. There's so many people out there that I would sponsor. <laughs> So they wouldn't have to worry about things like their van breaking down or their RV breaking down or brakes going out or whatever. You know, they wouldn't have to worry about that stuff. I, I, would, I would just be able to take care of it and on they'd go on their way. But, you know, sponsoring was a great way for people to support something they believed in and something they wanted to see flourish and um, something you know people that really wanted to uh, help anyway it's a long time ago so um i guess i will see you guys later because there's nothing else i'm catching up on comments right now uh and when i do that i'll start watching some vlogs because i'm on the church's internet today they seem to have a good so strong signal today so Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Wednesday, too, and I'll see you later. Bye. guys it is about 7 15 bible study started i think at 6 30 so pete should be back soon and i gotta get dinner i just took a nap after work because i was i just felt exhausted so uh, i didn't sleep well last night but anyway look at that dark sky there and then over there and that is facing i believe southeast Or maybe northeast. Northeast. So, um, on Wednesday nights, on Wednesday nights, it gets quite, somebody's pulling in, and there's our car. It gets quite crowded because um, they have uh, dinner, free dinner, so families come and eat dinner, and then they have Bible study and activities after that. So um, maybe those people are coming to pick up their kids because it all ends in about 15 minutes. But I gotta get dinner started, so I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that then. Hi guys, it is, oh, get the phone. There we go. I just was about to go to bed, 10.58, and um, I thought, oh, I never finished my vlog. So here it is. Uh, after bug calls, let's see, I uh, went to bed, took a nap, had a storm, woke me up, recorded a little bit of it for you guys, went back to sleep. Pete went over to uh, the Bible study tonight. I think I recorded a little after I got up, not sure. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And um, made dinner, which was pork steaks and uh, roasted cabbage and onions. Uh, then, uh, let's see, I did a bunch of stuff, but I can't remember what all it was. It wasn't that important, but after I got up, I got some, you know, did stuff around here, housework type stuff, I guess. Get out of the light. We just have these little lights, and that's what I'm recording by, that little light. We each have one. So, um, that's it, so. 
I'm going to go uh, lay down and uh, get this edited and uploaded and then go to sleep. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday, also known as Friday Eve. Um, but for me, it's kind of like Friday since I've got Friday off. I asked for Friday off since we're, you know, making a lengthy move and the, the uh, concerts start Friday night and they're about, I think, four hours away. So I needed the day off. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. God bless and good night.